right. So basically on the um, home screen, it says set up new pod. So you're gonna just tap set up uh, new pod. Okay, so on this screen, and basically each screen just kind of tells you what to do. So it says here to fill new pod with the insulin. Uh, we're going to leave the blue needle cap on. There's a blue needle cap that's attached okay. to this. We're going to leave that on. Okay. Um, and then once you fill up the, the insulin into the syringe, uh, then you'll basically insert the syringe into the back of the pod and you'll push the insulin in. Here where it says listen for the two beeps, um, the two beeps just indicates that it has the minimum amount of insulin to work. So it requires at least 85 units of insulin to use it. Um, when you hear the two beeps, just keep pushing in the insulin until it's filled up all the way, okay? All right, so basically just peel the backing of this off. Again, so it says here to, you know, leave the blue needle cap on. So just leave that intact for now. Mm -hmm. You're gonna remove the syringe And the the uh, needle for the syringe is right over there. Okay. And I usually just say leave this kind of in here. It just kind of keeps it a little bit stable. All right. Have y'all used the vial in a syringe before? Yeah. Okay. So typically drawn up, you know, just like you would with any other vial and syringe. Um, usually we'll tell you to... Um, Draw back the plunger down to 200. You don't need to shake the insulin because it's, it's clear. So you don't need to mix it or anything like that. Just pop the cap off. Uh, here, we're going to clean the tip of that little alcohol, the top of the bottle. Clean that with some alcohol. Okay. Just pull that cap straight off. All right. Pull the plunger down to 200. Okay. Leave this on. The, the, leave that on the table. Yeah. Pull the plunger down to 200. 200. 200. Okay. Now just insert straight down, and then push the plunger all the way down, and then flip it upside down. And then draw back to the 200. If you see a lot of air, just push back up and start over. Yeah, yeah it's 200. Yep. Usually the little champagne bubbles are fine, but yeah, you can always push back up. Yeah. If you want to get rid of those. It's still 200. Mm -hmm. Yep. So you just pull the syringe out. Okay. All right. And then the syringe is going to go where that arrow is there's a hole there mm -hmm. the syringe goes straight down in the middle and then just push the insulin in even if when you hear the two beeps just keep pushing the rest of the insulin in okay. all right just remove it So once you've done that, on the screen, um, you're going to hit next on the bottom right. All right, so you want to leave these two very, like, almost basically right next to each other. Mm -hmm. It takes about a minute. It's just communicating. It's going to prime.
brings you to the screen. So it says prepare the infusion site. So that just means to clean your site with some alcohol. You can remove your Vigo. We already did remove it before we come Oh, that's fine. Okay, yeah, it's already off. Okay. So just clean your site with some alcohol. Same thing, you want to keep it at least, you know, three inches away from the Dexcom. The Dexcom over there. That's fine. Okay, um, so then all you're gonna do, it tells you to basically remove the pod needle cap and check the cannula. So basically you're just gonna, you can go ahead and lift this up now and just basically pop the cap out. Let's remove this cap, this pop cap. that cap off. Like that? Mm -hmm. Yep. And all it's basically telling you to do is just check to make sure that there's nothing coming out of that hole there, okay? Mm -hmm. All right, then you're gonna, then it says to remove the paper backing. So yes, so from these tabs that are sticking out, just mm -hmm. care, kind of like the Dexcom, there's two, they go in each different direction. So just carefully remove the paper backing. Yep. And just place it, doesn't matter, just place it on horizontally. Like that? The other, the other way. way. I usually the say the other way. Okay. It really doesn't matter. I usually... usually oh, okay. Side to side. Like, yep. Yeah, there like you go. Like that? Mm-hmm. Alright. Then rub around the adhesive three times. Okay. Alright. Then, um, it says to tap start after you place it on. Um, you're going to hit start at the bottom of the screen there. And then you're going to hit confirm. Okay. And in a minute, you're going to feel like a little injection. An injection, it injects it on its own. You felt that? Yes. Okay. All right. So there's this, like, go ahead and lift it up. There's this little pink, that little box right there, mm -hmm. kind of a little shape of a square. Yeah. So if it's pink inside that little square shape, mm -hmm. that means it's inserted properly. So then it just asks it just asks you on here, you know, if you if it's inserted properly, just tap yes. Yes. If I didn't to see the pink one, does that mean then you'd have to remove it and put a new one on. Okay. okay. Um, at the bottom, you can just hit close. Okay. Alright, so just a couple of things on here. Um, that 50 plus, that means you have more than 50 units of insulin in here. Mm -hmm. Once it gets below 50, mm -hmm. it's going to count down. So it'll say 49, 48, 47. Okay. So we know how much yeah. lift. Yeah. Um, okay. It's going to alert you when you get down to 10 units. Okay. okay? This is what I was talking about. Um, the, bottle. the bottle of the insulin down at the bottom. Mm -hmm. So when it's time to eat, all you're going to do is tap the little bottle. Mm -hmm. Then I was telling you it says to select from presets. So I would tap select from presets and then that's where I choose. So if I'm eating a snack mm -hmm. or if I'm eating a meal, is my blood sugar less than 100? Is it between 100 and 180 or is it greater than 180? Okay. So if I'm going to do a snack, I'm just going to hit snack. Mm -hmm. Okay. Again, I'm going to hit uh, confirm. Con oh, I'm sorry, I'm trying to find my thing. Confirm. Mm -hmm. And then I'm not going to hit it, but I would tap start. Mm -hmm. And that would deliver my insulin. Okay. Okay. And do you feel it like injection? No, you won't really feel anything. I mean, you won't feel anything going through. Okay. That, you just felt the, the cannula going in. Yes. But that's all. You won't feel any more insulin going in. Okay. Okay. Um, okay. So when you, most likely, even though it says the pod expires on July 23rd at 8.47 a.m., you will probably have to change it out before then, just because I don't think the insulin's going to last that long. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, I think I think it was ordered for you to be able to change out the pods every two days. So I think okay. you got enough pods to change out every two days. Yeah, yeah, we got that. Okay. So when it is time to change out the pod, because you're going to be changing it out before the pod officially expires, mm -hmm. where it says view pod details, mm -hmm. I'm going to tap view pod details 
Okay. Down at the bottom, it says change pod. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to tap change pod. And then I'm going to want to hit deactivate the pod. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then it's going to deactivate the pod. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. That way it's going to stop communicating with the old pod mm -hmm. so that it can then connect to the new pod. Okay. Um, once you hit deactivate pod and it deactivates it down at the bottom, it's going to say set up new pod. Mm -hmm. So then you'll just tap set up new pod mm -hmm. and it'll bring you back to what, what we just went through just okay. now. Okay. Okay. Yeah. All right. How can I take off this one? 